Hello guys. With this video I will give you an overview of the options of the event tickets with Ticket Scanner plugin for WordPress. With this plugin you can easily sell and validate your tickets via WooCommerce. I will also show you how to call the Ticket Scanner. To access the Ticket Scanner or set the options, we need to go to the Event Ticket Administration. In the upper area we can see three buttons. Under the first button you can find information if you need support from us. The button in the middle labeled Ticket Scanner opens a new browser window with the Ticket Scanner. The options can be reached via the last button options. If you have the premium plugin installed as well, the first field is for your serial number. After that come the actual options to control the plugin. You can determine if everyone can call the ticket scanner or if only administrators can do that. If this option is not enabled, you can also let helpers validate tickets. They do not need a WordPress login. Your customers can also validate their own ticket themselves. You can disable this option here. Here you also control the appearance of your tickets and which elements should be displayed. You can set different image elements. In the upper part of your tickets you can place a picture. Below a logo and also a background image is possible. You have the possibility to download a flyer from the product itself. You can send it or print it. The appearance can also be customized again. You also have the three image options. After that there are a few options for the ticket or serial number validator. This must first be published by entering the appropriate code on a page. For the validator you can also customize the different messages for validation and messages. If you are more concerned with serial numbers, then I recommend our plugin Serial Code Validator. After that, there are more settings that also only affect the validator. The explanations are usually self-explanatory. With Premium you also have the option to save the IP addresses of the users. Then you can also activate a block, which automatically blocks the IP for a short time, if too many requests arrive from this IP. You also have the option to have web services called when certain actions have been performed. Then follows the option to build the ticket number. If you don't set anything, a 9-digit number will always be generated. Here you can globally enter your desired format. You can also override the format in the product itself. If you want to allow ticket sales only with a serial number or code, you can define this in the product itself and adjust the texts and the behavior here. You also have the possibility to display the purchased and assigned tickets and codes to your customers with a short code. What is not so important for the tickets themselves is the premium option expiration. But for codes that you need to buy tickets, this is very interesting. You can control the validity here and override it in the product if necessary. There are a lot of other options. More about that in our documentation on the website. We are also constantly expanding the options, as the product is strongly driven by user requests. I wish you much success with the Event Ticket with Ticket Scanner plugin for your next party or event.